going on everybody? This is Mason, you are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pup Guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, you guys have been waiting for this video for about a week, maybe a little over a week right now. Uh, I'm gonna show off some of your guys' Funko Pop displays and I know what you guys are thinking, a lot of people are gonna come after me about this. You're copying Top Pops and well, I mean, I kind of am. He, he showed off collections and stuff, and I'm not going to deny the fact that, um, I mean, this was his idea. But I figured I'd take a little bit of a different spin on it and show off displays rather than just collections. And hopefully, you know what, for me, I wanted to get some new ideas on ways that I could display pops. And maybe you could get some cool ideas from this as well. Maybe some new shelves that you didn't know before. Or some just really cool ways that you can display pops. But guys... We've got about like 40 right here um, that I got and, and I, I got like a lot, but I just wanted to narrow it down so this video wasn't like crazy long, but I wanted to pick out some of the cool ones that I wanted to show off to you guys that I thought just looked different or just are very clean, very neat, or just a fun way to display pops. So guys, let's get into it. Okay, so the way that I have this displayed is by uh, alphabetically, so however I save this. Uh, this comes from Andreas, he sent me an email um, and this is his display of pops, which I want to, I think this is kind of cool because of the fact that he's using a shelf that I feel like either he already had or he had gotten from somewhere else. And honestly, this is a prime example of how you can use just like any shelf in general. It doesn't matter what color it may be, what design it may be. So Andreas, that's really cool. Um, I just love how you have your pops displayed as well. You have it maximized to the point that you can fit as many pops as you can in there. But like I said, that's a prime example of uh, using the shelves that you have. That's pretty cool. Sometimes you can't go out and buy shelves. You might as well use what you have. So Andreas, that's awesome. Okay, I think this one was sent over to me from Instagram. This is from Annie. And um, I love her out of box display that she's got going on here. Um, what she does is, it looks like she has some like uh, glass like stands basically. They're separated into shelves. And um, she's also using uh, pop boxes as like little risers in the back. And so I just think that's really cool. And the fact that she uses this shelf, she's got like three of them and they're super tall. But um, this way you're able to maximize, I feel like at least be able to see everything that's behind. That's kind of the case that I have. In this one, I have a bunch of Spider-Man pops and I don't have any risers or anything. So some of them you can't really see, but she did a really good job. She honestly, she didn't have to buy any stands or anything. She had boxes, so use what you got, but very cool. I love the stand and I love the display. All right, this one is from Austin um, and it looks like he's just using, it looks like, I don't think this was something that he built. This looks like it was just something in his room, if I'm not mistaken. Um, honestly, that's that's another really cool thing. If your house, take advantage of maybe closet space or whatever, or other little like awnings or shelves that you have built into your room, take advantage of those. I think that's what he did here, or he might have already built something. I don't know. I, from what I can tell, it looks like this is something that was already in his room, but he uses it very well. So great job, Austin. That's cool. This one is from Beard of Pop. He's on YouTube. He's on Instagram. So I know who this is. And I, I want, he sent me a couple of pictures and I wanted to highlight this one. This one's very cool because I love the little like clear acrylic, like tiny shelves that he's using. Those little tiny shelves that you can see that's got some Marvel pops right there. Perfect for out of box pops and as well for uh, minis too. And I like that he's using the baseball bat display case as well to display minis. And he's using it as a shelf on top as well to display some 10 inch pops. So hopefully that gives you some good ideas and also those a little like square shelves as well. Those are pretty cool too. All right, this one is from Chris. I believe this was on Instagram. Um, and I like this one because basic bookshelf, I like the risers, but I like the fact that he's got some pops that are flying. I'm not sure, I'd have to ask him to see uh, how he's got that going there. I wonder if he just has like some uh, wires in the back or something and then it's just glued on top of the shelf or taped on top. But uh, that's a fun way to display your pops, especially if they're like flying superhero characters. So I appreciate that. And that's why I threw this one in there because of those flying pops. I thought those looked really cool. All right, this one is from Danny. And I think this one was on Instagram as well, but I just like this one because it's an effective use of baseball bat display cases. Um, obviously this is meant for like when you have it inside of the case for out of box collectors. And I have some back there, as you can see Simpsons and Toy Story over there. 
And um, as well, you can use the top of them like a normal shelf too. You don't have to just use the inside, you can use the top. This just looks really clean and neat and you can see how many different pops you can display with these baseball bat display cases. And I just think it looks really great. Great job, Danny. This one, I think the display looks really cool. This is from David. I think this was an email that was sent to me. And um, these are just simple, clean shelves. Um, if I'm not mistaken, somebody did say that they made these themselves for like under 20 bucks. It might've been him. I can't remember, but that's a really cool example of you don't have to go out and buy like expensive shelves. Sometimes like at Ikea and stuff, you can get like good deals on shelves. But um, if you have the resources and you know how to do it, might as well build one. And this one looks really cool. Um, he's able, the way that he has them like lined up, he can stack up to three pops, two pops, and even just like one row of pops. So that's really cool. And like I said, if you have the resources, make your own shelves like this one. This was awesome. This one is from uh, Daybed. I, I, hopefully I said your name right, but I really like the way that you're displaying your Marvel Pops here. Um, I like how it meets up in the corner right there that you're able to uh, display like your bigger Pops and stuff, like your two packs and whatnot. And um, the shelves just look really great. I, like I said, and I think my favorite part is that where you can meet in the corner and I think it kind of seamlessly kind of transition so it's not like a like a corner or whatever it like seamlessly is almost like a curve and i and i like that that looks really cool all right this one ooh, this one's one of my favorites this one was from eric he sent me a couple of pictures but uh, let's look at this um to kind of highlight different pieces here uh first off i love i want to say that it's almost like a pegboard like you would see in like a uh like one of your garage that you hang up like tools on or something. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that is very cool how you have that displayed with some out of box pops and they're all like correlated with um, the same lines and everything with like animation and stuff. That is a very cool display. I really like that. You have another one on the other side. I like that little shelf that you have for the T-Rex. Um, sometimes that's a fun way to display out of box um, 10 inch pops having their own little shelves. That's really cool. And then you have also just like that glass display case that you would see maybe at like a store, like a comic book shop or something. And um, that's a fun display too. I, I, I overall really like your creativity on this. So uh, Eric, that is very cool and a great job. I've never seen something like that. So that is very awesome. This one's cool. Um, this one's just like a normal bookshelf, but I like the way that they have their uh, pop boxes stacked to the side. And um, this is an example too, if your shelf doesn't exactly fit um, pop boxes exactly, like you see that it has like four um, to the side and then there's the one on the side that's up. Um, utilize your space. This is a great example of utilizing what you have as far as shelf space and everything. And I think they did an excellent job. Oh, this one was from Funko Hunter 5 on Instagram, if I didn't mention that. Uh, but yeah, very uh, cool display of out of box. Um, hopefully that gives you guys an idea, maybe if you don't have the exact shelf space, how you can maybe rearrange that. This next one is from, I, I don't know if I got the name right, it's Hey Solo, I think it was on Instagram, but I liked this one a lot because they are using um, out of box and in box combination. I just like those shelves, just the way that it's set up. It almost looks like this was something like from a store, like maybe from like a grocery store, some grocery store shelves, I don't know. But I just like the way it looks. Looks super clean, looks super aligned, and I figured I'd show that to you. This next one is from Hunter, um, and I think this was an email that was sent to me. So Hunter, thanks for sending this. Uh, and this is a really cool shelf. I like the different like geometry. So it's like the little rectangle comes in an opening on like the right side and then the left side, right side, and then it just kind of spirals down. And um, I like the way that you kind of have your pops combined with like, looks like movies and maybe some games right there. Those shelves look really cool. I'd be interested to see where you bought that from, whether that was like Ikea or something, but um, I just like the way that the shelf looks and I like the way that you're displaying your out of box pops. So great job. All right, this was from another hunter, kind of funny that we have two hunters in there. I think this was from Instagram and uh, I think this one is pretty cool. I like how the shelves I wonder if there's like some sort of shelves that you can buy that you can like stack on top of each other. Uh, but this one, it kind of goes up into a pyramid and then you got your TV in the middle. I think that looks very cool. And then it looks like you have some little floating shelves as well on the wall. Um, but I just like this display for the fact that it goes like from small to big in kind of a pyramid. And that's just something that's a little bit different that you don't see very often. So Hunter, Excellent work, that's awesome. This one is from James and um, pretty simple shelf. I like how you have the, the Pokemon on your wall. 
Um, but like I said, this is a fun, just a pretty simple shelf that has just a in and out of box pops. Um, and I don't know, I just thought it looked really cool. And so excellent works, James. And I just wanted to show this off for the video. So thanks for sending it in. This one looks like it's a sneaker head. This is Juan. I think he sent this to me on Instagram. Um, and it looks like he has some cool cases and stuff. Looks like, uh, like I said, he's mixed in with his like sneakers and stuff. He has like a glass display case. And as well, it looks like he has like a wooden like bookshelf kind of thing there. Um, one thing that I did notice too, as well as he has that picture. And I think that's Michael Jordan hitting the game winning shot against the Jazz in the 97 or 98 finals. A little bit of a sore spot, but cool picture. I like the way you have your pops displayed. Um, even though you may be a Bulls fan or Michael Jordan fan, that's that's totally fine. But uh, Juan, I, I like your display. It looks really cool. All right, this one is from Justin. And um, I liked this one a lot because this one, I like his, it's like a cabinet basically, like a curio cabinet cupboard or whatever. And I like his use of lights. He has the lights that are running through on each shelf. And then like the little, the cool thing about this is it can be closed, it looks like, and it still can be seen uh, from the outside because it's got those like clear windows or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I like the fact, like I said, the lights look really cool. So Justin, great display. It looks really awesome. This one right here, this is a carp of Funko Pops on Instagram. Hopefully I said that right. I just like this a lot because it was a very good use of the baseball bat display cases. I don't know if it's the same size as the one that I have back there, um, but I just think it looks really solid. Um, all the pops that you have and they're all in like the order and stuff all in the same series just looks really clean I think this is probably like one of my favorite ways to display pops is in the baseball bat display cases Because they just look really nice really sleek. So excellent work. This looks really cool All right. I like this one a lot. This was fun from Kyle and um, Baseball bat display case again, but I like the fact that you are uh, combining it with uh, your boxes as well. So you can still display your boxes on top. Um, and this is a bunch of Avatar Last Airbender Pops. Looks really great. And I think you did an excellent job of combining the you know in and out of box pops. Looks really cool. All right, I wanted to throw this one in here. Um, looks like they've got a simple shelf, but I like the fact that they threw in something that's not Funko. This is from, I think it's Liz, I believe. I, I, I Hopefully I got that right. Um, but she has a Dundee in the middle of all of her office pops. And I like the way that it's just displayed around the Dundee award. Looks very cool. I love the office pops, so I, I had to throw this one in there. Because, like I said, love the office pops, love the show, the office. And um, I like the fact that you have everything surrounding a Dundee. So, good job, Liz. All right, this one is a fun little uh, display shelf. This is from Luke, and um, it looks like he's just com has it combined with like books and stuff. And you know, honestly, if you already have a bookshelf, throw your pops on there. That's a great example of if you already have something that's already displayed and you want to put your pops on there, go ahead and do it. This was a great integration of that, and I think it looks really simple, but it's really fun. This one is from Mitch, and um, like I said, another baseball bat display case, but I like how he's displaying the Funko sodas on the top. That looks really great, and um, overall, like I said, like baseball bat display cases can be like a focal point, and I think they're just some really fun ways that you can display like some of your favorite pops, and uh, so yeah, great job, Mitch. That looks really good. All right, this one, I mean, this is, I think, Mustang something or other. I can't remember your name. It was over on uh, Instagram, I, I believe, or maybe it was an email. I don't know. Anyways, I threw this one in here. Pretty simple shelf, but you've got some crazy pops on here. So I figured I'd just share this with you. Not for the fact that the display is anything crazy, but for the fact that your pops are absolutely insane. They're on the shelf. Like, I, I guarantee you, like, probably the value of most of these on the shelf probably outweighs all the pops that I have in this entire room. So uh, thank you for uh, showing off. No, I'm just kidding. Looks really cool. Um, simple way to display like your top pops or whatever you're in value. Um, like I have over here, I have this little shelf that displays my uh, most valuable pops. So excellent work. Very cool. All right, this one is from Noah. And um, I like this shelf. I can't really tell what kind of shelf this is, but it's like the perfect size for a pop. And then you've got some lights going on on the side. So I don't know where you could buy a shelf like this, maybe like Ikea or something um, to get shelves that are the perfect size 
for a single pop and then it looks like it fits about like seven across so that's a fun display especially if you're just looking to just have that perfect size for the uh, pop box so noah that looks really cool thanks for sending it in okay this one i thought looked very cool very colorful the way that you have it set up so this is from oscalos i i think that was your name anyway so they sent this in and um, I love the clear um, display cases. This is like for action figures, but they've used it very well for pops. Looks like they've got it on some like clear risers. And I honestly think if I were able to get a shelf like this, I definitely would. I don't have a ton of space in this room specifically, but once I get a bigger room, I definitely do something like this. It looks very cool. It's a fun way to display collections of pops, especially if there's a lot in that line. And um, I think that this is just executed very well. And I always think this kind of display looks really cool. So thank you for sending this in. Really simple shelf. This is out of the pop on uh, Instagram. And um, like I said, it doesn't look cluttered or anything. And that's why I really thought this was cool. This looks like it's just like a normal kind of bookshelf or whatever that you just put in your room. Uh, not specifically made for pops, but they did make it for pops. And um, it looks like, you know, out of box looks perfect looks clean and it looks very simple. So I wanted to show that since it's just something that's a little bit different, but I think it looks really neat and really nice. All right, this one is from Poppy Ambo, Poppy Ambo. Um, and he said to me that he had a bunch of DC pops and he has a gelatinous cube just chilling there. But um, I really like this, the way that everything's framed with the baseball bat display cases, as well, along with the display case that's above everything, I think that has um, Dorbs and maybe some mystery minis in it. Um, I think, I'm not sure what this was used for, but I have seen these displays at uh, Michael's before, but I honestly think this looks really good. The fact that you're able, you like line up your baseball bat display cases so they like fit right on top of each other. And I think that looks really cool. Love all the Batman pops that you got there, so thanks for sending that in. All right, this was sent over from Pop Supreme. Um, again, a very simple shelf. I like the shelf, I like the fact that you have your shelf on the right right there. You have your pops angled, so like it's just a fun different way to look at your pops. But again, very cool shelf. Um, displays pops perfectly, thought it looked really cool, so figured I'd throw this one in there as well. I think we're coming down to the home stretch. There's not a ton left, I don't think. But this one is from a Scary Sari, I think. That was your name on Instagram. Anyways, Harry Potter display. Wow, this looks really cool. I love the fact that you've um, kind of used different aspects of like different props and stuff from Harry Potter. We can see some books in there, some wands, and um, different like boxes for wands as well that you've used as like shelves, and then different posters and stuff with the lights. That looks really cool. If you're dedicating like a certain area in like your a room of some sort or maybe in your house to a certain collection of pops this is definitely a fun way to do it especially if you're looking to do like dedicate it to a certain line you might as well make it look really fun and um add props and everything so i think that looks really cool great job that's a really fun photo all right i thought this one's a really cool way to display um out of box pops this is from somebody i think his name was like scorpion something or other um but this was a very fun way to display out of box pops. Um, it looks like it's just like a simple like glass shelf basically, but the way that it's like open at the top is you can see pretty much everything that's in there. I like how he's got the add icons. He has those Marvel pops right there. And um, I think that just looks really cool. Fun way to display out of box pops and definitely a fun way that you can see a bunch of different things that you collect. So awesome display. This one is from a Shrek Master. I've seen him on YouTube commenting on a couple of my videos. Um, I like his uh, shelves that he's got here. I like this one as well. This one's like a smaller shelf. I love how he has his uh, pint-sized heroes displayed in that. I think that looks very cool. I um, mean, it's like the perfect size for it as well, and you can fit a bunch of them in there. Like your out-of-box pops, like the way that those shelves are pretty simple. Looks like um, that's just something that you could probably pick up at Walmart or something. And you made it look really cool. So thanks for sending that in. All right, this one is from uh, Jose. He sent this in and I really like his baseball bat display case that has the uh, glow in the dark pops on the bottom. Looks like he has rigged it up with like some UV lights of some sort and it looks very cool. I love how it's on the bottom and then you've just got normal pops or whatever on the other shelves. And um, I need to do that sometime. I've got some lights back here. They're not UV lights or anything, 
But um, I think that just was this was a very cool way of displaying um, your glow in the dark pops with like a glow box. That looks very cool. All right, this one is from Steven. And um, I remember him saying that he's just like, this is my small collection. Well, this looks really cool. It looks like it's almost like a man cave of some sort. Um, and then you just have a bunch of like bookcases that hold tons of pops. That is a fun way to display, especially if you have a really large collection and um, it's a good way to store pops as well if you don't wanna store them in bins. Bookshelves definitely is a great way to display your pops. It looks really cool. You have a very cool collection, lots of pops. This reminds me of Top Pops a lot as far as how it's like arranged and everything, how he has his pops in the back of his videos. Um, but Steven, very cool and a fun way to display your very big collection. All right, I like this one. This is from Stranger Funkos over on Instagram. It's a simple wooden like riser shelf. And um, it, it was a cool way to display your Stranger Things pops, obviously, and your office pops. I'm not sure where you would buy maybe a riser like this, but I like how it's just really simple. It's like a wooden one and it looks really good. Thanks for sending that in. All right, this is a good example. This is sent to me from Will over on Instagram. I like the fact that he's using like a windowsill um, just in like his room or whatever to display pops. Sometimes, you know, you don't have your bookshelves um, and this is like almost like a shelf in a way that you have like with your window. And I think that you've used that very well it looks very uh looks very clean um but I, I, one thing that i would worry about is the sun coming in on the back of the pops and like wearing away like the the color and stuff on the back of the pop boxes but you know what you got to utilize the space what you got and will you did a good job of doing so all right guys and this is the last one this is from 505 pop collector i just really like the way that he has his funko sodas displayed um these uh baseball bat display cases are perfect for Funko sodas, especially the can and the figure itself. And I just like the way that he has this set up. Looks really good and I think it's just the perfect size to display those if you're into collecting Funko soda. This might give you a good idea of how to do that effectively. So there you go, 505 Pop Collector. Thanks for sending that in. Guys, I think that is all of the photos that I have for you. Like I said, I was sent a bunch more but I wasn't able to get to all of them quite yet. I think I might do a second part to this video but I want to do something different. I want to see maybe if we want to do like um, your most valuable pops in your collection and then a fun story to go along with it. Maybe that's the next video that we do. I don't know. But everybody that sent me photos, thank you so much. Um, we'll see if we can use the other ones in a different video. But thank you for everybody that sent these in. All these displays look really good. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What's fun of your fun? Leave a comment down below. What is some of your favorite ways to display your pops, whether it be a shelf, baseball bat display case? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. This was a very long video, but guys, thanks to everyone that sent photos again. You guys are the best. Remember to be kind to of one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.